You are Locked On Sooners, your daily podcast on the Oklahoma Sooners. Part of the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day. Are you watching Fox Sports or ESPN on your TV all day? Have to turn down the volume with all that shouting? Make the switch to Locked On Sports today. A free 24-7 sports streaming channel programmed for you every day to bring you the biggest stories without all the screaming. Locked On Sports Today brings you can't-miss analysis, opinions, and news. Streaming 24-7 on YouTube or the free Amazon Fire TV channels app. Part of the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day. And again, thank you for making Locked On Sooners your first listen every single day. For your second listen, go check out the Locked On College Football Podcast with our guy Spencer McLaughlin. Dude's doing a great job over there. Just hit a big milestone on YouTube. So go check it out. He's doing fantastic work covering all the angles from conference realignment to recruiting to what's happening in the SEC, ACC, the big new look Big Ten, what's going on with the remaining Pac-2 schools and the Mountain West over there. He's got all the angles covered. Check it out. Locked on college football for your second listen of the day. Billy Bowman took to the stage at SEC Media Days and had some really poignant things to say about a lot of different things, and we haven't gotten a chance to touch on all of them, but at some point we will. But I want to go this way right now. The safety room is considered one of the deepest positions and most talented positions on the team heading into 2024. And Bowman was very willing to heap some praise upon these younger safeties. Uh, Peyton Bowen, uh, you asked him, who's a guy that you're bringing up, you're bringing along that you think has a chance to be elite? And his answer pretty quickly was Peyton Bowen. And he was asked about another guy, Robert Spears Jennings. And the quote, I want to read it exactly right here. He said, be prepared for seeing a lot of number three. He'll be all over the field for us. And this is a kid, the, the you know in-state four-star prospect that was out of the 2022 recruiting cycle that I really feel like is about to have a breakout season in Robert Spears Jennings. Yeah, Robert Spears Jennings, man. You know, Tulsa boy, uh, exciting uh, to see that he has definitely rose up, right? I know that he dealt with a little bit of injuries or whatnot, but now it, it appears that he's going to take over that spot at free safety. He's going to, he's got a lot more game close to the end of the season. And it, it, I think he's got it locked down. And so hearing pay, hearing Billy Bowman really praise him as well as Peyton Bowen, he, we knew that he was going to give Peyton praise. He's done that over the last like year and talked about just how much, uh, how great of a, just a football player he is instinctive and everything. Those two are going to be potentially the future, right? When Billy's gone, if Robert decides to come back for one more year, you'll have a combination of him and Peyton Bowen out there really running things and then the other young bulls that's in the room. And so I had to ask him that question. And when he kind of broke down the, the Peyton Bowen and how he just needs to get it to all click and he thinks that it most likely will click whenever you know Billy is gone himself, he thinks that Peyton's going to be the one to take over that room. Man, that, that just does nothing but get me excited. Phil Steele had Oklahoma's secondary room ranked as number two in the country. In the country, which is number one in the SEC. Something to be excited about because that means that we got some talent in that room. Yeah, it's not just Billy Bowman. It's Peyton Bowen. It's Robert Spears Jennings. And then you can even go down the line with Jaden Hardy and Michael Boganowski and Reggie Powers and Michael Patterson McDonald. And hey, Cade McIntyre. I think this is the one that not Cade McIntyre, Eric McCarty. Sorry. Yeah, Eric McCarty. Cade McIntyre is the tight end. Eric McCarty, McAllister kid. You, you've got a lot of talent in that safety room that Brandon Hall has put together. But I'm really excited about this three safety, the three safety looks that we have the potential of seeing in 2024 with Bowman Bowen and with Robert Spears Jennings. What's great about it is you've got diverse skill sets. You've got a Peyton mm -hmm. Bowen who is going to be able to range the middle of the field. He's going to be great in coverage. He's great instinctually. He's got those cover skills. He was like this close to multiple interceptions last year, but we saw what he's able to do on special teams with the punt blocks. Like that is incredible. That takes great instincts and timing and agility and athleticism to make that happen. And then with Robert Spears Jennings, great box safety, a dude that can play around the line of scrimmage. He's not the size of a linebacker, but he thumps like a linebacker. I mean, he gets downhill in a hurry and we've seen it in his first couple of years with Oklahoma. You go back to the 2022 season and he's chasing down Jason Bean running out of the sideline and he just hits him hard. Like Bean's not out of bounds <laughs> yet. So he makes sure to lay a thick, lay a thick lick on him as he's going out of bounds. And we saw it again last year 
when given opportunities in a rotational role. So really, really excited about what they're going to bring both of those guys this year. Who knows exactly who's going to get those quote unquote starter reps, but I think mm -hmm. we'll see them both in situational, you know, in situations, Robert Spears Jennings probably is going to be your base package uh, safety, being able to play in the box a little bit, help support in the run. And then when it's third and long third and seven plus, you're probably going to see more Peyton Bowen because he's going to be able to, provide you something in covering tight ends, covering guys out of the slot. He's kind of an extra cheetah that you can put out on the field. So it gives them a lot of options at safety, depending on the down and distance, the situation in the game. I mean, if you're up two, three scores in a game, you're going to see a lot of Peyton Bowen because teams are going to be trying to throw to get back in the game. And that's where he excels in coverage. Absolutely. And even better with uh, the way Zach Alley does things, you know, he's, infamous for doing throwing out a three safety you know set up three safety high and like you said seeing all three of them out there at the same time man i'm i'm terrified for other defenses right <laughs> that's uh other offenses of trying to figure out how to get around those guys because they're so athletic too right and they're all sizey right i think mm -hmm. billy's the shortest of all of them or whatnot because right. he's what 5 11 the rest of them are all over six feet yeah it's gonna be a challenge to try to figure out how to throw it over them with their long arms um and their ability and their ability and liking to hit that's the one thing I've noticed about Venables and staff, especially Jay Valai and the players and him and Brandon Hall go after. The guy have to do is they like to hit people. They want thumpers. Right. I love that. Something that we miss here at Oklahoma are guys getting leveled on a regular basis. Just, just physicality overall. We're getting that back. And so just be prepared that this safety room is not going to, it's not going to be a surprise for most, right? It's, we all knew that this was going to come, but they're going to be elite this coming season. Yeah, it's going to be fantastic. You're going to see a lot of plays being made in the back end and around the line of scrimmage because, again, Robert Spears, Jennings, Billy Bowman, they know how to make plays around the line of scrimmage as well. We're probably going to see some Woody Washington at safety. Wouldn't be mm -hmm. surprised to see some of the younger guys like Reggie Powers and Jaden Hardy and Michael Boganowski get some reps, especially early in the season in non-conference yeah. play. But it's a deep, deep room, and you can see these guys are committed to the process and they're committed to what – needs to happen in order to be great. And again, having Billy Bowman back, you cannot say enough about his decision to return for one more year and what it means for Oklahoma's safety room. Because listen, you would be pretty good, but you wouldn't have the experience. You wouldn't have that leadership capabilities that you have right now. You'd have probably had to go to the portal and get a transfer safety to at least give you a solid floor with some experience. Or you would have had to move Woody Washington full time over to safety with Billy Bowman, you've got an All-American coming back that gives you that experience, gives you that playmaking ability, and you're set up. I mean, the the next several years of safety play is just set up perfectly, and it's all because Billy Bowman decided to come back. So exactly. safety room is going to be – it's going to be exciting – playmaking group and we're excited to watch it we'll talk more about other position groups over the next few weeks as we get ready for fall camp but on the recruiting trail the oklahoma sooners are still building that 2025 recruiting class floyd bucard trending toward oklahoma let's discuss coming up next here on locked on sooners <laughs> 